Hello and welcome back to another video. Today you join me at Dorking Main Station and I'm heading off to London Bridge with Southern Rail. Opened in March of 1867, Dorking Main is one of three stations serving the town of Dorking, the others being Dorking West and Dorking Deepdean. The station is rather quiet at this time, it's Tuesday at 2 o'clock. I'll be catching the 1436 service that's come from Horsham, just a 20 minute journey from here. Our train arrives in Dorking on time at 14.36. Today we'll be travelling on one of Southern's Class 377-6s. These particular units were introduced in October 2013, but the Class 377s as a whole have been in service since 2003. There are no seat reservations offered on today's service, so I'll find a seat in what I believe will be a quiet part of the train towards the front. Seating comes in a 2 plus 2 configuration and are unfortunately the dreaded iron board seats. They are a bit jumped up with armrests and tables however. As today's service isn't very busy, I'll choose this table of 4 for today's journey. And we depart Dorking on time at 36 minutes past 2. Total journey time for today will be 1 hour and 7 minutes and will reach top speeds of 100 miles per hour. The start of our journey sees some fantastic scenery. And just under three minutes after we departed Dorking, we arrive at our first stop of the day, Box Hill and West Humble. Time for a seat tour. The comfort of these seats is, well, very poor. They've been nicknamed the ironing board seats for good reason. At least you can find armrests as well as a large table to do your work on or eat. Down here you can find a plug socket to charge your devices. Unfortunately there's no USB port so remember to bring your plug.
Up here, you can find a reading light, as well as ample luggage storage for smaller items. There are also luggage stacks dotted around the train for larger items. Oh, and you can also find a rarely used and rather pointless coat hook affixed to the wall. Who even uses these? I must say, legroom between the seats is rather good. Time for a wander. The interior of these trains is rather smart and spacious in my view. What's yours? It really annoys me when I see disabled toilets out of use. It's not ideal if you can't use a regular toilet. Eventually I find a working toilet. This was possibly the most confusing sink I have ever seen. You first had to use the soap, then wait a few seconds and use the tap. And finally, the very weak hand dryer. Thumbs down from me. However, the toilet was overall clean. Face masks were not mandatory at the time of recording on the 15th of February 2022. Here we can see the absolutely fantastic first class section with a major upgrade of a bib and a different maquette used on the seat. It's honestly such a rip off. Before we carry on with today's video, I'd just like to say thank you to the Georgia Travels for becoming my first ever Patreon. If you want to join my Patreon, the link will be in the description. Thank you. About 25 minutes after leaving Dorking, we arrive into Yule East, one of two stations serving the town, the other being Yule West, with South Western Railway serving that station. There is no catering offered on board this service, so I advise you to bring your own. After Yule East, we call it Chim. After just over an hour, we're fast approaching London Bridge, so I'll give my thoughts on the trip. Overall, I was pleased with my journey today. The Class 377s are relatively good units. The seats are bearable for a journey of this length, and I prefer taking Southern from Dorking to London than South Western Railway. I paid £5.40 for today's journey, 
using my 16 to 17 rail card. Overall, representing good value for money. That door chime is really annoying in my opinion. I do hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot.